Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Adam back here, and today I have another video. This time it is a Clone Army Customs Wolfpack Invert Commander Trooper review. Um, now I know that was a lot of words, um, but he has quite a long name, because uh, he doesn't have a basic name like Commander Cody or Captain Rex. Um, basically, this figure is the opposite of a Wolfpack Trooper. Anywhere where it is white on a Wolfpack Trooper, it is now a dark blue. And anywhere where it was dark blue on a Wolfpack Trooper, it is now white. That is what a Invert Trooper is. Um, it's the opposite. So, I purchased this figure. Um, I actually got it for my birthday. Um, so my parents purchased it. And uh, it was a little bit expensive, but uh, I think it was worth it. This figure makes a great addition to anybody's collection, as he is just amazing. His color scheme is perfect, the capes are perfect, the pistols are perfect. Um, everything that I got with this is perfect. Um, there's no mess up with the printing, there's nothing. Um, but yeah, I also even got... Um, if you take that off... You can take this. I also got the clone head, the Django Fett head, or not sure what it is. Um, but yeah, so let's get on with the helmet. So the helmet has a uh, interesting design. Um, wherever, like I said before, it's invert. So wherever it was blue, it's white, and wherever it was uh, white, it's blue. So that means that there is a lot of blue, because on the basic Wolfpack Trooper, there's not that much uh, blue. There's a lot more white than anything else. So this figure is like the complete opposite of that, and um, I really like it. Uh, this is one of the figures I've been hoping to get for a long time, and uh, the helmet. Oops, the helmet is very detailed, and uh, it's. Even the wolf pack symbol. Let me see if it focuses. In a little bit. Alright, but the wolf pack symbol is just like so detailed and everything. It's pretty amazing. All the little dots and everything. Um, you could never paint that on, except I think MGF or Michael MGF probably could. But um, I also got a visor, a white visor that goes really well with his color scheme. Uh, if we put that on, there we go. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the helmet. If we take it. All right, so here is the clone head. It is black all around and then there is a open spot where the face is, uh, where it gets a little gray and then there's the face with the little uh, mouthpiece next to it. Um, really cool. I really like it. And we put the helmet back on. Alright, so the cape is very interesting. Uh, one flaw with this figure is the capes are a little bit hard to put on. Uh, especially because he has this one. The shoulder pad is already really hard to put on because you have to put... You have to basically use uh, two hands and you have to make sure they stand still uh, while you're trying to put the legs on. But on top of that, you have to put the waist cape on, so it kind of makes a tight fit. Um, like, it, I'm definitely probably not going to take uh, these legs off again because um, I just don't want to deal with having to put the cape on. But uh, they definitely look cool when you put them on finally. And uh, definitely really amazing. The wolf pack capes are probably my favorite. Um, I'm actually making some of my own right now. Uh, but uh, the shoulder pads, or not the shoulder pads, the arms have a white shoulder pads. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, very detailed. There's a lot of lines and intersections and the elbow pad right here. It's all white and yeah. So on the other arm, it is a completely different story. The white is now a um, interesting, those almost look like little arrows. If you look at them closely, I'll try and focus it. Alright, that's a little bit better. But um, 
they have little arrows and that it almost looks like a heart on a card or something and um so yeah there's some more of the same design on the bottom part of the arm though so yeah and on the back it is white uh pretty much from here on up and then uh, blue from here on down except for the waist um so the uh, capes do make it a little chubby right here uh there's you can definitely tell there's a separation um but overall still pretty good and uh gray color i think covers up the top half of the legs and um it's not it's definitely not the blue that you see throughout the other figure and i do believe it wraps all the way around uh, like i said i'm not going to take the waist cape off um, but there's some knee pads right here that are just basic white and um yeah overall i would highly recommend buying this figure before you buy anything else he's just unless you're buying commander cody then you definitely should get commander cody um but this figure definitely makes a cool addition to your collection and he's just amazing um i just wanted to thank cloner and customs again for putting my last review on the front page um maybe this one can get on there i don't know uh but anyway uh, you might be asking why a weird background. This is actually a Felucia background. And um, basically, just because I remember the one memorable scene is uh, Wolf and his troops invading the uh, droid base in, I think, season two or three of the Clone Wars. Um, definitely a memorable scene. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.